lost that thing. Well, how'd your Super Mambo Crush Brothers disc get lost in the yard anyhow? My brother invented a new sport. Ike, what are you doing with my game? Helping mush butt vid freaks like you get in shape! Ike! Which leads me to another excellent exercise, looking for stuff. <laughs> hmm. Calculating its trajectory from the window, I bet it landed... there. What? In the bushes? Oh, there's entirely too much dirt, bugs, and gross junk outside. Phil should stay where it belongs. Under your bed? <laughs> Hello. You found the game? Nope. Better. Mm. Maxine. Hey, looks like you could use some help. Hiya. Yeah. yeah, getting ready for a weekend at Ms. Rexwinkle's nature camp for girls. <laughs> well, you came to the right guy. Got it. I guess camping isn't really your thing, huh? What are you talking about? Camping is like way my favorite thing. <laughs> really? I never realized we had that in common. Oh, yeah. Nothing I like more than dirt, bushes, patio furniture, bugs. Dude, there's your game. Ha, sweet. <laughs> Stay there. No, I see. <laughs> oh, get it off me. Oh, it's yeah. my hair. Oh, it's uh, my spider! Up. Spiders love to fly! <laughs> Little known arachnid fact. <laughs> Spider. Okay then. <laughs> and yes! Level 23! And you're at. Hmm. See? How can you possibly be at a negative level? Because I'm trying to figure out a way to get to that camp with Maxine. Um, it's girls only. Duh. I know, but if I could just get near that place, Maxine and I could hang out. Except you're so camping clueless, you'd probably be spooked by the first squirrel you saw. Ah! Here you go, Fluffy. You'll see. Once Maxine realizes that I'm outdoorsy like she's outdoorsy, <laughs> we can spend a lot more time together. See? Dinner time! <sighs> now to get my family to come along to share the nature experience. What? I need a ride. And somebody to put up those tent thingies, and who's gonna cook? <laughs> right. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Oh, Mom, you know what would make this tasty dinner taste even tastier? Saffron. But the recipe insisted on coriander. I'm going to correct that cookbook right now. No, 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 Mom. I, I meant it'd taste better if we ate outdoors. Cools it off faster, too. Ike! Uh, Ike! Oops. No, not our outdoors. Camping outdoors. Doesn't that sound like fun? Hmm. Uh, fun? Last time I played an open-air concert, my sheet music blew away. Faking Stravinsky? Not fun. And my household scheduling system isn't weatherproofed. But guys, that's what camping's all about. Getting away from the schedules and clocks and concerts and all that other stuff. And toilets? Forget it! There is no way in this world I'm going in the bushes. No way. Hey, but if you want to, Zeke, I'll shot put your bed into the backyard. Oh, man. Well, this family needs a holiday. Whoa, Zeke, go away now. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, Mother Nature. Look at all those trees. It's like we're surrounded. This is horrible. Whose idea was it we come here again? And whose idea was it that I come along?
Uh, so are we gonna sit in the van all day or what? Well, according to my list... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alvin is our first stepper outer. Off you go, dear. Oh, gonna need some more time, dear. Remember, I have tree fall a phobia. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere until I really have to go. And then we're going to a hotel, right? What's the big rush to go outside? No field, no crowd, no cheerleaders. It's just outside. <sighs> nah, I'll nap a little. <sighs> Okay, fine. I'll go first. It's not like there's anything to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yikes! That was close! You're kidding, right? It's just a squirrel! But look how he's staring at me! Like he's thinking I'm a big nut! Smart squirrel. Hey, I think I heard Maxine. What about the killer squirrel? <laughs> Let him find his own girl hikers. Jay? Oh, man. Uh, Zeke? You did read that nature book I gave you on the way here, right? No, I was gonna, but I needed a drink tray and I didn't have one, so... <clears throat> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a natural when it comes to nature. Uh-huh. So you must have a really good reason for standing in those stinging nettles. <laughs> Outdoor genius. Cello, check. Vacuum, check. Mom, do we really need this? Son, have you seen this ground? It is covered in dirt. And why'd you pack the asparagus steamer? Just because we're in the wilderness doesn't mean we're doomed to eat mushy vegetables. Uh-huh. How's the tent coming, Dad? Great! Listen to this. <gasps> huh? Bye, Mom! Jay and I are going to explore nature. Don't go far! Here! Let me show you how it's done, Dad! Yeah! Oops. <laughs> Girls, look. You can tell from the smell why we call this the pineapple weed. <laughs> Maybe to a bunch of nature nerds. Hey, there's Maxine. Uh, this blossom is an herb from the figwort family. Hey. Psst. Uh, 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 did anyone hear that? Merit back to the first camper to ID that snake! What? There's snakes out here? <laughs> faster! Faster! <laughs> Who's that? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, Bofo! And another merit badge to whoever finds the big tree climbing snake that just took a tumble! I I think I'll just stay right back here. <laughs> Really work up a thirst playing hacky sack. <sighs> you want some? Uh, thanks, but no. I'm not drinking anything until I'm near a real deal porcelain towel toilet. <laughs> you sure? This water's really cool. No! <sighs> Please talk about something else, Ike. Okay. Too bad we didn't go camping at Niagara Falls, huh? Then we could hear water all day long. Splish splash, splish splashy, splish splashy, splish splashy, splish splashy. Coffee maker, cutting board, cups, plates. You know, I never realized how hungry you can get spying on a girl's camp. Mm. Oh, look at you two! Was it a bear attack? Uh, no, Mrs. Palmer. We just fell out of a tree. <gasps> a tree fell somewhere? Out of nowhere? Oh, I, I knew it. Uh oh. Splashy, splashy, splashy. <laughs> okay, that's it. Everybody back in the van. We're out of here. Guys, whoa, whoa, chill. Everything's fine. Fresh air, good. Fresh air, bad. Look at those grass-stained shirts. You're lucky I packed stain remover, mister. Somewhere in the...
Uh, uh, you see, the friction generates enough heat to create flame. Uh, uh, Fire-making always puts me in the mood for a little snack, though. Generator on! Chop, chop! Hi, Maxine. <laughs> Small woods. Calm down, girls. It's just Zeke and Jay. <gasps> Zeke and Jay, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, my family and I are just up here roughing it. <laughs> cool. Hey, you guys have any fire-making tips? Aha! Yes, um, <clears throat> we expert woods people don't bother with sticks. We can make sparks by smashing two... Ouch! Or you could use these. Huh? Right. <laughs> How? <laughs> wow, you did it! I did? Uh, I mean, <laughs> of course I did. That's cool. What? I recognize that set of boys! Not only am I out of marmalade, but my camp has been invaded by youths of the male persuasion! Out! <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll handle this. Oh, no, it's still in recharge mode. It's time for plan B. Make like the big bad wolf and hop and pop. <laughs> this is not working. Bucket Brigade! <laughs> well, that was my plan C. Did you remember? That's probably your plan. See ya! Oh, any luck with the fire pit, Alvin? We'll be ready to saute as soon as I find the ding-dang starter button. Oh, here, take a nibble, hon. I need your opinion. Spice! <laughs> 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 Boys. Mom, did you have to tell the whole forest about my under... you know? Sorry, Mr. Shy Pants. Oh, but since you're here, could you boys go and find me some fresh parsley? Huh? I don't know. I hope you campers are ready for our next exciting wilderness adventure. Dude, why do we keep tempting fate when we could be doing something safe, like whining till your parents drive us home? <laughs> it's the three M's, Jay. Maxine, Moonlight... And marshmallows. Actually, that's four M's. Look, dude, I've got to find some way to impress her. An orienteering contest. We will split into teams of two and race each other back to base camp using only a map and a compass. That's it. I'll help Maxine win the race. Great, except we don't have a map, a compass, or a clue how to find our way through the forest. No, but I've got a magic pad. We just follow the other campers till somebody's about to win. Then I draw a complicated grid of trees that confuse and deadlock the teams. I simply grab Maxine and lead her to victory. What could possibly go wrong? Duh. Uh, I think I smell a mall this way. No, it's just shopping withdrawal, Cindy. Map says we go this way. Oh, yeah. Hold up. I gotta tie my shoelace. You know, double knotting's not just for little kids. No time to double knot. We don't want to lose sight of... Huh? Them? Jay, where'd they go? Hello? Hello? <sighs> okay, uh, eeny, meeny, miny? No! Zeke, we're lost. Why don't you just draw us back to your family? Because the pad hasn't finished recharging. Maybe if we tried walking backwards? Uh, Zeke, your pad has a GPS function. Oh, right! Ha! And it's finished recharging, which means I can still impress Maxine with my woodsy know-how. After I order a pizza. Okay, but make it extra cheese. 